Hey guys, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. First and foremost, want to wish you guys a happy new year. Hope you guys had a great holiday and you're very excited about kicking off the new year, getting healthy, feeling good, etc. etc. So anyway, so let's get right into it. So I started out my new year with a long fast. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you all about that. I'm sure you guys want to know the details. And there were a bunch of people in this group who also did a long fast, which was great. So we kind of all did it together, which is totally awesome. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And a lot of people had good results. Uh, first, I want to tell you that fasting is not something that's new to me. Um, I've actually been doing fasting for 18 years. I know you might not have heard me talk about it the whole time, but um, yeah, I've, I've been at this for a while with the fasting. The first fast I ever did was a juice fast for 10 days. Uh, that was in Portugal. I actually looked up the retreat center that I went to on the internet. It's still there. They're still doing their program. Um, I remember very clearly that the first couple of days of that fast were not fun at all, and I felt horrible for about three or four days. But then after that, and by the end of the fast, I felt really amazing. So that was a 10-day fast. And then since then, I've done other fasts, um, juice fast, wheatgrass, um, the master cleanse. I don't know if you ever heard of that one. It's, uh, it's this mixture of, of lemon and cayenne pepper that you drink. Uh, I did that one for 21 days, many years in a row. And then in addition to that, I do yearly cleanses and detoxes, not fasting, but just using certain products. But this was my first time doing a pure water fast. Of course, I didn't just drink water. I, I'll tell you more in a minute about what I had, but there was no juice involved. So basically no calories, no carbohydrates, no sugar, nothing like that. So I was really excited to do a long fast with just water and electrolytes. And I'm happy to say that it was really great. And one of the main reasons that I did it, well, there's a few reasons that I did it. Um, Weight loss is not the main reason that I did it because I've lost a lot of weight over these last few months and I've been keeping consistent with that, with doing intermittent fasting, but I wanted to get the other benefits that come with fasting that I've known about for years that make it more of a therapeutic fast. So that's one of the main reasons I wanted to do it this time. And uh, there are benefits to fasting besides just weight loss. Everybody wants to do it for weight loss and we're going to talk about weight loss but there are other benefits. Your body gets a chance to heal and regenerate itself, to recycle its proteins, to stimulate stem cells, a process called autophagy, which is rejuvenation of the cells. Um, your digestion greatly improves because it gets a break from breaking down food. So digestive issues can get better. Lots of things can get better. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of benefits to fasting. So I wanted to do it to show you guys that it's possible. You don't have to be overweight to do fasting. You don't have to be sick to do fasting. Uh, so fasting overall is very therapeutic. Hi, everybody that just joined in. I just wanted to get right into it um, and get to the stuff because I have a lot to say. So anyway, uh, let's start with the fast. So my, my goal was to do it as long as possible. And uh, I had no idea what that would look like, but I knew I would know when to stop. So uh, the first day was pretty good and pretty easy, I have to say, because I've been doing 24 hour fasts now for, for months and that's really hasn't been hard at all. So I felt really amazing. And I actually did a vlog of the every day that I was fasting and that'll come later in a video form. And um, so the first day I felt really good and um, by that first night, I was I couldn't believe how much energy that I had. But then, interestingly enough, that night when I went to bed, I had a headache in the middle of the night. So I was like, ooh, okay, wasn't expecting that, but um, it can happen. So there, there can be symptoms that occur when you're fasting and headaches are one of the most common symptoms that you can get. So yes, I had a headache the entire night. Uh, and then the next day, I had headaches sort of on and off. This is day two. Now my energy the second day was great. I felt fine energy wise. I wasn't dizzy. I wasn't lightheaded. And another good part was I wasn't hungry, which you would think not eating all that time. Would you be hungry? I wasn't hungry at all, but the headaches were sort of mild and on and off for that whole second day. But I made it through and I didn't feel like I was ready to stop. 
I really felt like I wanted to keep going. So I pushed through and that second night I slept fine. I didn't have any headaches. Woke up that third day. Now this is going into 72 hours and I felt fine. I woke up that third day, energy good, no hunger, no headaches. I was very excited about that. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna keep going. Not sure how long I'm gonna make it, but let's just give it a try. By, I would say midday on that third day, like three, four o'clock, I started to feel like, hmm, I don't know. Some, something suddenly started to feel a little bit off. And I'm like, I think the hunger is starting to come back. I'm starting to feel like it might be time for me to eat again. Um, so I decided, okay, tonight I'm gonna do, break. I'm gonna break my fast tonight. Um, so I started to prepare myself, you know, what am I going to do first? And I wasn't going to rush right back into food. And I want to get into that a little bit tonight about how to break a fast. So I thought, but this is going to be the night that I do it. And we were all fasting together. There was about, I don't know, six to 10 of us that were doing it together. And a lot of people were getting the same feeling by that third day that they were ready to stop. So it was interesting how we were doing it as a group and we were all kind of ready at the same time. So I thought, okay, I'm going to start breaking the fast around five o'clock and the first thing I'm gonna have is bone broth. So if you haven't had food for more than a couple days, you don't wanna just go right back into eating a regular meal. Um, you could, but you, there's potential digestive issues that you could get. Um, and you wanna keep your, your blood sugar stable and not spike it or anything like that. So starting out with some bone broth is a really great way to get your body digesting again. So I had a couple of cups of bone broth um, and it felt really great to actually have bone broth. It was like the most delicious thing ever <laughs> to have bone broth. Um, and it, it was kind of almost making me full, but I knew that I wasn't gonna be full just from that. So then about a half hour later, I decided to have some sauerkraut. So eating like probiotic foods, probiotic rich foods, that's another great way to get your gut flowing again. So I had some sauerkraut and uh, that was really tasty. And after you haven't eaten for a while, another thing that happens is your taste buds are so intense and everything that you taste now is like really strong. So it's almost like, like a new sensation almost. So it was really cool to, to, to notice that the food tasted really good, even though these are things that I eat on a regular basis. So uh, after the sauerkraut, I wanted to have some eggs. I wanted to start out with keeping the carbs on the lower side, the sugary stuff that is, having some protein and some healthy fat. So eggs are one of the best foods that you can do for that. So I had some eggs with a little bit of avocado and that was very satisfying. And I thought I was going to be full for the night just on that, but then I decided about an hour later to have some salad. And uh, the salad was also very delicious and also easy to digest because it's just lettuce and it has lots of enzymes and it's raw. So that's really all I had for that night. So I didn't wind up going into a big heavy meal. Like I said, I just had bone broth, some sauerkraut, a couple of eggs and salad. And that was my first meal after 72 hours. And, um, and by the way, during this time, like that second and third day, I, I stopped going to the bathroom. So I did not have a bowel movement those couple days, which is kind of normal. Um, however, I do believe that the headaches could be caused by not going to the bathroom. So there is a possibility that being backed up, even if you're not eating, can cause some of the headache part. Can't say entirely that it's just from that, but it's, it's a thought. So the, the next morning when I woke up, my digestion was up and running again and the bowel movements returned. And I did not have any stomach upset at all once I started eating the food again. And I woke up the next day and I went right back into the way that I was eating prior to the fast, basically, which was intermittent fasting at two meals a day. That's what I've been doing now for months, um, basically eating lunch and dinner and keeping that window pretty, pretty tight. So I went right back into that the next day and I've been doing that ever since. Uh, now, as far as uh, weight loss goes, I really only lost one or two pounds. It wasn't a dramatic weight loss for me and I didn't expect it to be uh, at all because you know I really don't have much more to lose hardly now at this point maybe five pounds at the most which probably will take a really long time to come off either way like I said I didn't really do it for the weight loss part but I did lose one or two and uh, so far so good with that um, let's see exercise I didn't really uh, I walked a little bit when I was fasting and I went to work and I did my normal activities, but I didn't do any heavy 
exercise or activities. I don't encourage you to do anything heavy when you are fasting. Like intermittent fasting is one thing, but when you're doing a longer fast, you can definitely walk and do yoga and things like that. But heavy training and high intensity, probably want to wait to do those later on, not during a long fast. I know there was someone in the group that was just working out normally. That's great if you feel like you can do that. There's nothing wrong with it. But in general, you don't want to go too heavy with your workouts. And then once you get back into the swing of things, you could go right back into your workouts. So as of today and yesterday, I went back into my normal, normal routines with exercise. So that was, that was pretty easy. Now, during the fast, obviously I had water, but I didn't just have water. I used electrolytes. I used basically sea salt and some potassium in my water. So I basically had three different drinks. So I had one bottle of regular water, and then I had one bottle with salt in it, so that was like my salt water bottle. And then I was drinking tea throughout the day, mostly white tea or green tea or herbal teas. Um, those are the three drinks. Now, I did add apple cider vinegar to my tea and a little bit of stevia. So that was the basic drink that I had for the tea. And then I would rotate between the regular water and the salt water. As far as how much you need to drink, um, it's really going to depend on the person. Everybody's going to be different. You're going to hear some people say, you got to drink a ton of water, drink, drink, drink all the time, uh, all that kind of stuff. But you don't necessarily want to drink too much because you don't want to take out more electrolytes than you're already losing. So I think the best way to tell how your hydration is doing is by checking your pee. It's so easy to do. So if your urine is really dark, you're probably not drinking enough water and you should up it. If your urine is completely clear, then you're probably overdoing it with the water and you need to cut back a little bit. So you're looking for like a pale yellow color. That's the best way to tell if your fluid level is right or not. Um, and then as far as the electrolytes and the salt went, there were times that I felt like I needed a little bit more salt. So I would carry actually a little salt bag with me and I would just like take a, a little bit on my tongue here and there and it almost would feel like having a meal and it would kind of bring me back to life a little bit. So um, having the salt for me was really important and critical. Uh, I did use some potassium with this product called Low Salt, but not, not too much potassium. So those are basically the drinks that I had. And let's see. So I know there's a bunch of people that did the fast at the same time. So if any of you are on the call, I want you to chime in really quick and just uh, tell the group what your experience was like how long you did, um, how, um, how much weight you lost, what were you drinking during this time. So go ahead and tell everybody else because I know there's at least, I saw at least a couple of people, my mom being one of them. My mom is 71, I'm trying, okay. I know, smack me, right? How old? And she did it, okay, and she didn't even prepare for it. So mom, I'm really proud of you. I just said, hey, are you fasting with us? She's like, what are you talking about? I said, yeah, we're all doing it. She's like, oh, well, I wasn't really planning on it. But the next thing I know, she joined it anyway. So kudos, mom. I'm glad you did it. And, then, and she made it for 72 hours. So there you go. Anybody, any age, okay, not any age, but any adult can, can do this successfully. So I'm glad she did that. So like I said, if anybody else in the group here, I see a few people that I know were fasting. Please write in here in the comments how your fast was, and I know you wrote it in the comments previously, but just tell everybody um, how it went for you. We would all love to hear about that, okay? Uh, let's see here. Okay, so now, how often am I gonna do something like this might be a question that people have. Uh, this is something that, okay, you have to distinguish between the reason that you're doing it first and foremost. So if you're doing it for weight loss, if you're going to want to do these more longer fasts on a regular basis because this will help you reach your goal quicker. If you're not doing it for weight loss, you're already pretty lean or already near your goal weight, then you're going to want to do it for the therapeutic benefits like I was. So I'm not going to do this all the time. I might just do this a couple of times per year just to enhance, you know, my, my ther the therapeutic part at least. Okay. So I probably won't do this again for a few months. Um, but if you have more weight to lose, there's a bunch of different strategies you, you can do with this. So when, let's say you do a two or three day fast and you feel like you want to keep going, but you really need to eat at that point. You can just start out by having one meal 
and then you could go right back into the fast. You don't really have to take a break. If you have a lot of weight to lose, you can go right back into it again, all right? You have to just listen to your body. Your body will tell you when it's time to eat again. But let me just say that if you are gonna just eat a meal and go back into it, keep that meal really low carb and not too many calories, okay? Because you wanna stay in the fat burning stage because by two or three days, you're definitely in ketosis without a doubt because the fasting put you in ketosis. And now you're really efficient at burning fat. So you wanna keep that going by not having a lot of carbs. So if you're gonna have that one small meal, make sure it's low in carbs and then go right back into the fasting. Again, this is for people who have a lot of weight to lose and wanna keep going. If you wanna do it conservatively, you can do this every now and then. Maybe you could do like a 48 hour fast once a week, every other week, once a month, however you wanna do it. You can tie this in with your intermittent fasting too. So if you're doing like an intermittent fasting on a regular basis, maybe every so often, you add in a longer fast. So there's lots of different ways you could do it. There's no one size fits all when it comes to this. So that's what's so great about this. Okay, one other thing I wanted to mention as far as the, the, the timing of a fast, and I did mention this in the last live that we did. Women and their hormones and their periods, okay, and fasting, because there were a bunch of us that either just got their period, just finished their period, their period came during the fast, okay? so. That's why I recommended last time that you probably shouldn't do the longer fasts around your period, like right before your period, during your period, okay? Because you may not feel that great. You may make your hormones shift in certain ways. Um, there's lots of different reasons for it. Now, I personally, I did it right after mine, um, thinking that that was gonna be okay. Maybe the headaches I had were because I just finished and my hormones weren't really done with me. I don't really know. But uh, a couple other people in the group mentioned that they had just gotten theirs. And you know, after a day or two, they weren't feeling so great. So doing the fast during the period may not be the best time. So again, I would recommend that you wait till you're like mid cycle. So your period is over and now it's two, you know, at least one or two weeks later and then you start doing a fast instead of doing it right before or during. So ladies, that's sort of what I wanted to say. And I think people are chiming in about um, their, their stories and I appreciate that, you guys. It's great to hear from more than one person on this, okay? Um, all right, so another thing I wanted to say is, you know, when you first came into the group, you probably thought it's all about keto and fasting. Well, yes and no. I would say this group is more about fasting as a lifestyle than it is about keto because I'm not a proponent of one diet for everybody all the time. I don't believe in that at all. I think there's a lot of value in doing keto principles, but I don't think you need to be doing strict keto all the time. And I've talked about that before with, you know, cycling in the carbs. So I don't think you should exclude any food group hundred percent all the time. So what's great about fasting. The reason I bring this up is, it doesn't really matter what diet you're doing, fasting works fine with any of them because fasting is sort of the most therapeutic thing that you can do uh, overall, and it's also one of the best things you can do for weight loss, especially when you do it on a regular basis. I know there were a few people in the group that were saying they just started doing intermittent fasting and that was their challenge, and that's awesome because that alone, for I would say most people, brings them to where they want to be as far as how they feel, as far as their weight loss goals, even for helping with health issues, intermittent fasting alone can do a lot. So, you know, it's really up to you uh, how you want to do it. So I just wanted to let you know, uh, it's very flexible, but fasting is sort of the key point here. Keto is great and there's good things about keto, but you know, you don't want to be just eating fat all the time and, and never having any carbs and, and, and keeping your protein really low. There's, there's too much restriction to a specific type of diet. So you have to modify it here and there. Things are going to change, even, especially for women. There's going to be times when you need to eat more. There's going to be times when you need to eat more carbohydrates to balance your hormones. So this group is not about strict keto. It's more about fasting as a therapeutic tool for your health goals and your weight loss goals. Does that make any sense? Yes? Okay. So uh, before I go any further, God, time really flies on these things. 
I wonder if there are any questions so far. I know I've rambled on for the last 20 minutes, and I forgot to mention that the Eagles game was really exciting. I hardly ever watch it, but it was exciting. But were there any questions so far as far as my fast that I just did, or longer fasts, or what you, any questions for, from you guys as far as what you've done recently? Let's see here. I'm just gonna look and see. Okay, so we had a couple people chime in on what they did. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. Hey, Tina, people that I haven't seen in a while are here, yay. Cheryl, I thought you were sleeping. Uh, hi, Jim, hi, Vince, hi, hi, Stasha. Oh, wow, a lot of people here, awesome. Um, any questions, guys? I know a lot of you that are already on the call are like experienced fasters to some degree. Yeah, great game, right? So maybe you don't have any questions, so that's okay. Okay, so now one thing that came up was someone who was fasting, is pink Himalayan salt okay? Yes, my favorite is the Celtic Grey. It has more trace minerals in it, but yes, pink Himalayan salt, totally fine, okay? Um, any other questions, just post them and I'll get to them. So something that came up, 113 hours, oh my God, I just have to comment about that. Crystal, that is amazing. Crystal went 113 hours, and she's, are, you're right back into it, you're fasting again. That is just amazing. So she's doing what I just described. She went, it sounds like five days, ate something, and then went right back into it. Supplements while fasting, okay. That's, that depends. Um, some possibly, depends on how many you're taking, okay? Like in my case, I take a ton of supplements. Everyone who knows me knows that, okay? I didn't take all of my supplements the whole time. I took some of them. I didn't take the food ones. I took some of the herbal supplements. It really depends. Uh, you don't wanna have too many things uh, when you're doing the fast. Um, that's gonna vary from person to person. So it depends on which supplement it is, how often you take it, et cetera, et cetera. Crystal, that is amazing. You keep going and keep us posted because not many people are gonna do what you're doing and you're gonna be an inspiration and I love it. Uh, so that's great. So this will bring us to the next topic, which is weight loss with fasting. So some of the people, they were happy with the fasting and they felt fine, but they're like, I'm not losing that much weight. Okay, if only all you had to do was fast and everything would just be like magically fixed. It doesn't really work that way with one long fast. Yes, fasting over time and on a regular basis and as part of your lifestyle, you will get there, but one fast of a couple of days is not gonna take you where you need to be. You need to be consistent overall with doing fasting on a regular basis, either as intermittent fasting or the longer ones. And more importantly, what you're eating when you're not fasting, okay, what you're eating from day to day really matters. So if your goal is weight loss, then you don't have the flexibility to eat sort of whatever you want when you're fasting, when you're, you know, when you're not, when you're eating that is. So you wanna make sure when you are eating that you're eating quality food first of all so you want to have organic food you don't want to have pesticides and gmos and that kind of stuff in your food okay you want to make sure your carbs are pretty low most of the time now it doesn't mean you never ever eat carbs it just means that most of the time you're eating very low carb are you eating super high fat no not necessarily you're eating some fat and you're eating protein but you don't have to go overboard with the fat but you want to cut out all the junk so if you were recently eating whatever you wanted and then you just started fasting and you think, oh, now everything's great, I, I fasted. No, you have to do things on a regular basis. So what you're eating uh, when you're not fasting is really important. Also, here's another thing. You have to get healthy first in order to lose weight because your body will hold on to weight because it's storing toxins, it's storing hormones in your fat. It's protecting you. Fat is a protective mechanism. So if your body is storing toxins, which most of us, it, it is, then it's not gonna have an easy time getting rid of all that. So weight loss means, excuse me, so in other, in other words, you have to get healthier first before the weight will start coming off. That's gonna mean different things for different people. Um, of course, fasting is gonna help you reach that goal, but when you're not fasting, you, you, you really have to be careful what you're eating. You have to be managing your stress, okay? Because if you're having a lot of stress and your cortisol is always elevated, that's gonna make it really difficult to be healthy and to lose weight, okay? Supplements are really important. So if you're having adrenal issues, you're having sleep issues, you're having hormone issues, you might need to take supplements. 
I shouldn't say you might, you, you do need to take supplements and that's going to help you reach your goals. You might need to detoxify. So you might have to do like a cleanse. Like we have cleanses that we do once or twice a year, our standard process detox. Um, maybe you have high levels of heavy metals. This is really, really common guys. Okay. We test for this in our clinic. If you have high levels of heavy metals, your body's going to hold on to fat. Okay. So being toxic is another reason for people holding on to fat. So you don't just fast for a couple days and then all the weight just melts away. It, yeah, you will lose some weight and it's going to vary. Where are you in your period, right? If you have your period when you're fasting, you might be retaining water. Um, or maybe if you haven't gone to the bathroom in a couple days, you might be holding on to some poop and that could be part of the weight too. So there's so many variables when it comes to weight loss. Fasting is one of the best tools that we have, but it's not the only thing. You still have to look at other factors and I have videos coming up on these topics. So don't worry. I'm going to be talking more about that, but I wanted to bring that up because that's one of the main things I heard from people. Oh, I fasted all this time and I didn't lose all this weight. Well, do it again next week. You know, wait till you don't have your period. Make sure you eat clean in between. Go do a detox. Go get your hair tested. You can find out what other things might be out of whack. Okay. So I wanted to definitely bring that up. Uh, okay. Let's see. Fasting builds. Yes. So yes, fasting. I mean, it, it's not, you know, there's so many reasons to do it. It just kind of shows you like what's possible. Like if you have the mental capacity to, to not eat for that long period of time, that says a lot about you. So yeah, it builds character. That's a really great way to describe it. Um, so yeah, there's, there's lots of other things and, and good reasons to do it. Okay. So I want to give you a couple of reminders. Um, so we have a pretty big group, but I, I only hear from about, I don't know, 10 to 20 people. And I was kind of like, why? Like, where is everybody else? Why did they join? So today I created a poll for the people who haven't been participating at all that I've never heard them say anything or like anything, or I don't know if they're watching anything, but anyway, I created a poll. So if you're one of those people, just look for the poll and tell us, you know, why you haven't been participating. There's either a bunch of choices there. You pick whatever one, no judgments. I'm just curious. I want to make this group the best it can be and try to get people to participate as much as possible because it helps everyone. All right. So I'm just trying to figure out why people may or may not be chiming in. So I did create that poll. So look for that. Okay. Another big announcement in case you haven't already heard January, this, this January, this month, we are celebrating our five year anniversary of fast track to health, the clinic itself, not of my business, but the actual clinic, which started in Marmora. So this is our five year anniversary. So we're very excited about that. And we're going to have some specials this month, uh, week by week. You're going to be getting it in the newsletter. So hopefully you're on our email list each week. I'm going to have a different special offer to celebrate the anniversary. Um, we already have a, uh, a contest, a, a, a cash giveaway contest. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel and let us know that you subscribed, you'll be entered into a drawing to win hundred dollars cash to be used any way you want. So if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube, not the Facebook, the YouTube channel, please go ahead and watch any of the videos that are there and hit the subscribe button and you'll let us know. And then you'll be entered into the contest and we'll do the drawing at the end of the month for the hundred dollars in cash. Okay. So, uh, and then look out for the weekly announcements as far as the specials go. Uh, okay. I got to that. Okay. So another thing that I posted recently is, um, there's a fasting summit coming up. You know how they have these free health summits online. Maybe you've seen them. Maybe you haven't. There's always one popping up here and there. They're like free for one week. If you watch at that time. And then after that, of course you have to buy it, but there's one coming up on January 14th on fasting. And I was like, yay, great timing. Right? So I put the link to the summit on one of the posts there. So look for it. So you sign up. It's free. Uh, register yourself and then you can watch all the experts. I believe it's 29 experts speaking on fasting, uh, starting January 14th. So look out for that because you get all that free information. In addition to what I'm telling you, you can hear this stuff from 29 other people. And then if you, of course, if you want to buy the summit, you're free to do that. Um, but anyway, it's really awesome that they're having that. And thank you, Vince. Here's to five more. I love it. Um, so, but check out the link for the fasting summit because I'm sure it's going to be jam packed with a bunch of really awesome interviews. 
from lots of smart people, okay? Uh, all right, so let's see here. All right, so one other uh, announcement, and this announcement is just for the group, okay? This is just for our weight loss group here. Um, if you're new to our practice, uh, this doesn't count for people who are already coming, we have other specials for you too, don't worry. Anybody who's in the group who wants to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, Donna and I come to the clinic, get tested, take supplements, yada, yada, you know, we're gonna teach you about weight loss, fasting, whatever issues you have. We're offering a discount of 50% off your first visit uh, for nutrition for the month of January, okay? So that's only for people in this group that are, that are new, that haven't been to our clinic. So if you're one of them and you wanna work with us on nutrition, this isn't for acupuncture, this is for nutrition, um, just give us a call and, and sign up. So that's special for the group. So um, if people aren't here right now, hopefully they watch the replay and see that because I'm not gonna announce it anywhere else except right here in the group, okay? So that's for you guys. Um, let's see here. Let me see if there's any other questions. This was a very small question uh, group tonight because everybody here is so smart, apparently. Let's see here. All right, guys, come on. You got questions, I know you do. I know you have more questions. Okay, you don't. Okay, so now I'm gonna ramble on about, I'm just gonna repeat a lot of things. So how do I sign up for the summit? Uh, this, the, the link for the summit is in one of the posts in the group. I just put it up there as a post. So just go back and scroll through and you'll see it. Can my friend Diane just help me? Sit? Yes, Cheryl. By the way, did you guys see my shirt? This is a Christmas gift that I got from Carol. Thanks, Carol. It's, it's cute, right? Eat less. But I wish it said eat less often. <laughs> then it would be really appropriate. Oh, it's backwards? Anyway, oh, you can't see it? it? It says eat less. I guess it's the way I'm sitting, you can't see it. But anyway, I thought it was really cute for the whole fasting thing. Um, so anyway, wherever you guys are in your journey, okay, it's going to be different for everybody. I want you to try to incorporate the key concepts that we're teaching here, mainly intermittent fasting and, and prolonged fasting. So if you haven't tried intermittent fasting, that's the first thing you wanna try. You wanna work your way up to the longer fasts. You don't wanna just go from zero to three days, okay? Just start doing intermittent fasting first. If you don't know what that is exactly, go back and watch some of the older videos, the other lives that I did. You're gonna eat in a time-restricted period. Try doing that a couple days a week. If that works out well, then do it like every day. Then you can work your way up to like a, a 24 hour and then possibly longer, okay? If you already have been doing intermittent fasting, you're like, this is great, but I want more. I want the therapeutic benefits or I wanna lose more weight. Then for, by all means, go ahead and try doing something longer. Don't forget about the electrolytes, okay? You're not gonna just do water alone. You have to make sure you're doing electrolytes. Can I go back and look at past videos? Of course, everything is on YouTube. Everything that I've done here on Facebook, I always put on YouTube. So YouTube is the main place I want you guys to watch my material because one of the things I'm really trying to do right now is grow my YouTube channel, okay? Because that's the way I'm gonna be reaching people no matter where they are in the world, that's YouTube, okay? That's the main place that I wanna be. So please go there, guys. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. All my videos will be posted there. I think there's only one video that I posted in this group, like on January 1st, that I didn't post on YouTube, but all the other stuff that I'm posting is going straight to YouTube. Um, my goal is to put up two videos per week, not just one, two. Right now it's been one video per week, but my goal is to get to two videos per week Probably one of those two will be on weight loss and fasting and the other one will be on some other topic. Like I just posted a video this morning on YouTube on cold and flu prevention and natural remedies. So check that out if you wanna see that. But every week I'm gonna be posting more stuff about natural health. So that's, the strips are nice. My body gets me, I have so much energy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Crystal. You know, which, wait, which strips are you talking about here? The, the ketone strips? Um, okay, yes, here's the thing. It's not that accurate, okay? I, I happen to have them here. I don't rely on them at all by any means, but I tested mine while I was uh, halfway through the fast, maybe two, three days in, 
And yes, it was showing ketones, but not a ton. Here's the thing. The strips, like if it's not showing, it could mean that you're, you're burning ketones. So that's not going to be showing up and you're not putting it out into your urine because your body's utilizing it. So if you don't see it on the strip, it doesn't mean that you're not burning ketones. So you can't rely on the urine test, the urine strips for that. Um, the best way to do it is to test your blood. I will be giving you more information on that coming up. I'm going to tell you exactly which device to get. There's a device that you can test your ketones and your glucose, okay? So when you know both numbers, it's a better way to measure, okay? So I'm going to talk about that later on and give you like the precise uh, device to get for that. But blood testing is the most accurate way. I, I tend to go by how I feel. I know that if I listen to my body and see how I feel, how my brain is working, how my energy is, that'll tell me, you know, how I'm doing with, with ketosis and, and fat burning. Um, urine strips are not completely useless, but they're not the full picture. That's all I'm saying. You can use them. And if you sh you're showing ketones, great. If you're not, it doesn't mean that you're not burning them. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that's, so that's where we're at guys. Fasting is the main concept of what we're doing here. We're using keto like concepts, but we're not 100% keto all the time. Uh, and we're not 100% low carb all the time. We're low carb most of the time, but I don't think all carbs should be thrown away for good. Of course, you know, you don't want to be eating shitty carbs, uh, sugar and, 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 and that kind of stuff on a regular basis. But once you're lean and you're feeling great and you don't have any major health problems, if you have an occasional piece of cake or something, you're going to be fine. You're not going to, it's not going to be the end of the world. But if weight loss is your goal and you have other issues, you know, you want to just be strict for a while. Just, you know, follow a really good diet, eat really clean, do your fasting either every day or now and then. Um, do your working out, managing your stress, make sure you're getting proper sleep. Make sure you're taking your supplements. If you don't know what to take, come see us. That's why we're here. This is what we do. We, we love supplements. That's, that's just the reality of it. I have a video coming up in a couple weeks uh, on supplements. Uh, I'm going to have a ton of videos on supplements, as you know. What's your take on exogenous ketone supplements? Eh, no. You want to be using your own body as fuel and to burn ketones. So why would you want to take something? exogenously and add to that when you could just get it from yourself by fasting. So no, I don't think you should buy any, any special products, uh, for exogenous ketones. That's my take on that. That was another question that we got this week. Uh, any other questions you guys? So that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, this was not a very long one. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm looking at my list here. I talked about how to break the fast. I talked about, why I did it, et cetera, et cetera, that you're not just drinking water. You're going to have your electrolytes. Um, any other questions you guys? No. Okay. I know this was a little bit of short. I normally go like a whole hour. Um, but I'm going to be doing the lives on a regular basis, probably every week. I can't say every single week for sure, but I will definitely be putting out videos. Uh, every week I have videos coming up on a whole bunch of stuff. Um, let's see, we have videos coming up on tons of them on fasting on hormones, thyroid, adrenal, vitamins and minerals and herbs, female issues, digestion, autoimmunity, acupuncture, blood pressure, travel tips, caffeine, alcohol, organic, GMO. To, this morning we sat down, my boyfriend and I, and we brainstormed a list of video topics. We came up with over 200 <laughs> topics. So there's no shortage of material for us to make videos on. So, um, whatever, if you guys have any ideas on videos that you want, if you, what you want me to, to talk about, please feel free to let me know because I'm totally open to suggestion on that. So any topics, let me know. Our gym challenge starting on the 19th, if anyone's interested. Yes. Uh, if you're interested in working out at a cool gym with the best gym teacher, the best fitness teacher in the world, that's Ms. Cheryl Wood, um, at, down in her gym in Woodbine, she's, they're having a fitness challenge starting on the 19th. So she's the woman you want to see. She's in the group. She's a founding member. So she's our workout person. She is the best at what she does. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so stay tuned for more videos and 
I'm hoping that you guys have a great and healthy, amazing 2019. Uh, if you have any questions uh, that you want me to do videos on, just let me know. Keep in mind, you want to eat less and eat less often, okay? And um, I guess I will see you guys soon. All right? Thank you so much. Have a great night. Eat less. <laughs>